Hi everyone. I wanted to give you a really quick uh, video on how to do um, video analysis in Logger Pro. And in order to start, you need to insert your movie. So go to the Insert menu and click on Movie. Find the movie that you want and let it think because it'll take a second to bring the movie in depending upon how large the movie is. But it should eventually pop in. And there it is. Okay, so this is a ball drop we did uh, last year, or um, in 2018-2019, uh, 2019. and it's a picture of a ball being, a soccer ball being dropped from the top of the stadium uh, seats. Uh, so, um, you'll have to forgive this picture here. Some of these buttons are really, really small. They won't be this small on your, um, on your screen. But you'll see the standard video buttons on the left at the bottom here, and you'll see some other, you'll see two other buttons at the bottom here. Um, go ahead and click on the three red dots, which says enable video analysis, and you'll notice another, t uh, another uh, toolbar comes up here. Again, the, the, the buttons are very, very small. Uh, hopefully they're bigger on your screen. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is move your, um, scrub your video, move the slider until it's right at the beginning of the motion. In this case, it's when uh, the individual at the top of the screen there lets go of the ball. And you'll see his fingers right there. Um, he just lets go of the ball at about right there. It's a little too late, um, but that's fine. I can move it back just a hair. There we go. Okay, so that's the very first thing you need to do is you need to move the video so that you are right at the start of the action a start of the movement. Okay, um, there is a number of things you need to do now. You need to set the zero time, you need to set the zero position, and you need to set the scale. So let's go ahead and set the zero time first. Down here next to this button that, we, that opened up the toolbox is another button that says sync movie to graph. So click on that and what you want to do is you want to say at this time in the movie this corresponds to zero time on our graph. So we're going to say OK here. So that sets our time. Next, we want to set the scale. Um, this young lady here down at the bottom is holding a meter stick between her finger and the sidewalk here. The fourth button down on your toolbar up here is Set Scale. If you click on that, you will get a crosshair. And what you do with that crosshair is you draw a green line to represent your scale. And you'll notice you get a pop-up box and say enter the distance and units that correspond with that distance. And I just told you that was a meter stick. So we're going to say OK. That's a meter. OK, next um, we need to set the origin here. Uh, we're going to be looking at how fast the ball drops. Uh, so that's going to be a y-axis here. If you look at the third button down, it says set origin. That will give us a crosshair. You should probably put this right on the object that's moving. However, in this case, since we're not worried about the X movement, the movement in this direction, um, we can go ahead and put it off to the side so that we can see the ball easier. When you click, that sets your origin point. Um, by the way, if your axis of movement is not straight across the video or straight down the video, this yellow dot right here, you can click on that yellow dot and um, make your axis slant rather than go straight up and down. So now we've set the zero point, the zero vertical point in this case. We've set our scale to a meter and we've set our timer to zero seconds. So now we need to do our analysis itself. What we do is we click on this uh, second button here that says add point and what you will be doing is you'll be adding points to this video every time you click on the graph the graph um, the movie will move ahead one frame so I'm going to click on the ball here and if the ball doesn't move a whole heck of a lot you can slide it over to we can see the ball a little better there we go let me add another point there and eventually this ball is going to be moving enough so that you can see it as soon as you click on it when it moves the, moves the frame. And now the ball is moving fast enough that it's very clearly in a new place every time I click on it. I'm doing this pretty quickly so the data is probably not going to be great. But we're going to keep doing this 
Let it follow the ball all the way down. Almost there. And we're going to stop just before it hits the ground because it may rebound and we don't want that data in there. So we're almost there. That's the last one I'll put in because I'm not sure if it hits the ground there. So now we've put in our data and you will notice as we did that it filled in that data on my graph. So I'm going to click on the graph. I'm done with the video now and I want to show you that and let me pull up the data here. Um, there's, it's showing both the X movement and the Y movement. There was no movement in the X direction. You can see that stays pretty steady. That velocity there is zero. So all I really want to see is the Y movement. So I'm going to click on this title here, or this label on the axis, and I'm going to collect, select just Y. Now I can see my Y movement. Uh, one particularly good thing about uh, video analysis is that it will automatically um, it will automatically auto scale for you. You don't need to do it. If the fact that it says Y instead of displacement or vertical displacement, you could certainly come up in here and click on the heading here and change what that says. Um, and remember to put a title on this. This is obviously a parabola, so you would want to do a curve fit on that. Um, but we're not talking about that with this video. This video is just to show how you do a video analysis. If you have any other questions, be sure to come to me. Thank you.